Hey everyone, Commander Josh Hawkins here, and this is Astroneer. This charming sandbox exploration survival game by developer System Era Entertainment does away with high-resolution textures and complicated interfaces in order to transport you into a serene, polygon-rich universe of adventure and discovery filled with pastel-colored planets, bouncy astronauts, and 3D-printed bases. This game puts you in control of a cheerful little astronaut, or in this case, an astroneer, who bounces around their tasks with an air of gleefulness despite facing numerous space-related environmental hazards. Armed with a terrain morphing tool lovingly dubbed the Space Vacuum, you'll travel across planets and asteroids in search of elements used to 3D print the items and structures required to upgrade your base. You'll also be able to create vehicles, to haul large loads of materials or equipment, and eventually build spacecraft to travel to other planets. And best of all, you won't have to go at it alone. Astroneer has support for online and local multiplayer co-op, so you can go at it alone or establish a base and reshape the world together. Other multiplayer features are in the works, but no release date has been announced yet. Your journey will take you across a multitude of procedurally generated landscapes and biomes, all created using Unreal Engine 4, and each world you come across can be excavated, deformed, and reshaped to your desire, allowing you to uncover crafting elements, precious resources, rare items, and artifacts. One of the first things about Astroneer that stood out to me was the lack of a traditional UI. Your inventory is represented by an up-close view of your backpack, which uses a similar attachment system as to what we see on vehicles and structures within the game. Items and components simply snap into connection points. Adam Brommel, co-founder and artist for the game, describes Astroneer as having a diegetic interface, a style of interface that's been used in popular games such as Dead Space and Far Cry 2, meaning the game has almost no 2D elements, and everything in the world can be handled through a 3D model. This simplistic interface is partially what gives the game its laid-back feeling, since it replaces the overcrowded UIs we see in so many other games with something that allows the player to focus on the gameplay itself and truly appreciate the unique artistic style that Astroneer brings. Astroneer places players in a 25th century gold rush in the frontiers of outer space where you'll risk your life and resources in harsh environments for the chance of striking it rich. Your space vacuum will allow you to extract resources from planets, asteroids, and moons that can then be traded with friends or crafted into new tools, vehicles, and modules. But, because the environments are procedurally generated in a uniquely rendered voxel engine, you can use it to dig a hole straight to the core of a planet, or spit out materials allowing you to build veritable mountains under your feet. All of this without any limits, since the entire planet can be reshaped by your tools. Excavate vast underground tunnels or create megaliths on the surface. The world is your Play-Doh. But you won't be limited to just planets. The worlds in Astroneer are diverse, from huge spherical worlds with atmospheres and vast landscapes, to strangely shaped small asteroids floating in the rings of gas giants. These unique environments present a treasure trove of opportunities for explorers looking to discover hidden underground caves, alien vegetation, and even wrecked ships containing useful components or mysterious artifacts to be researched at your base. Being a space game, Astroneer also has a survival element that will have you balancing power and oxygen consumption, both of which you need to worry about to make sure you don't die. While power slowly regenerates, if you're not tethered to something that provides oxygen, it will slowly deplete, so your initial treks away from the base will require a bit more of a cautious approach. As far as I know, none of the planets you explore will have any sentient life forms, so if you're looking to shoot aliens, you may want to check out games like Osiris New Dawn or No Man's Sky, both of which are similar in principle to Astroneer, but neither of which allows for full terrain deformation. 
But don't go thinking that the lack of wildlife means that there are no dangers in Astroneer, since there are a multitude of ways to die, including suffocation, poisoning, blunt force trauma from falls, and also getting hit by debris. In its current state, Astroneer offers five main gameplay elements, those being discovery, traversal, excavation, transportation, and transformation. All that means there will be plenty for people to muck around with while the devs continue to add more content. While the game launches into early access on December 16th on Steam, as well as in game preview format on Xbox One and Windows 10, the developers have stated clearly that it will be incomplete, as are most early access games, and will continue to be well after early access, so anyone thinking about buying the game at this point should only do so if you want to help the developers as they continue to make improvements. It looks to me like the folks over at System Era have something truly amazing in the works, and their commitment to this labor of love really shines in what I think will be a fantastic game. From the modular construction system to the colorful clay-like appearance of the worlds in Astroneer, I'm really excited to get my hands on this open world gem and share it with all of you. If you want more news, updates, and gameplay footage from Astroneer, make sure to subscribe to my channel where I'll be covering all the developments via videos and live streams. Also, hit that like button and leave me a comment below with your thoughts. This is Commander Josh Hawkins, signing off.